Many people are seeking out life coaches these days or even spiritual directors and therapists because they have walked through spiritually abusive situations in their church or maybe in a Christian nonprofit environment or even a church camp. Unfortunately, these stories these days in the United States are not rare and I lament and I grieve and I relate. I have had my own journey of different parts of this type of situation. And I, I wanted to point us today toward a scripture in Matthew. And now Matthew 10, you may have heard of this before. I remember when I first arrived in Indonesia, this was a, a scripture that my supervisor used to teach us um, how to have good leadership skills. And I absolutely agree all these years later that there's so many good leadership skills to learn from Matthew 10. And yet I look at it today with new eyes um, recognizing we need these kinds of leaders even in the church space and in the Christian nonprofit space and in our church camps. Um, Matthew 10, 16 says, Look, I'm sending you as sheep among wolves. Therefore, be wise as snakes and innocent as doves. Watch out for people because they will hand you over to councils and they will beat you in their synagogues. Not verses we really like to read about because it's painful, it's awful to think about. And often we think about this in terms of, oh, that's what Jewish people were doing back in the day, you know, in the early, you know, parts of 2000 years ago in the first and second and third century where people were being hurt and abused um, for speaking about following Jesus among Jewish religious, you know, officials or Pharisees. But when we apply this to today and the lessons we might find in it today, uh, religious leaders in America are of many faiths, but if we're applying it to Christianity, whether it's the Christ, you know, the Catholic faith or the Protestant faith, either one, and we think about what that would look like to be sent out as sheep among wolves, it is the unfortunate reality that um, there are a handful of wolves um, in the church who pose as shepherds or under shepherds um, or who even are dressed as sheep. And yet they are wolves. And sometimes there are packs of wolves that will attack spiritually, emotionally, verbally, even financially in certain situations in the church and in worst cases, sexually. Um, but packs of wolves are, uh, are what we're, we're reading about here. And when they are disguised in different clothing, it can be very difficult to discern that they are there. And so this verse in Matthew is calling the sheep to be wise as snakes snakes we don't think of as positive things but in terms of having wisdom of a snake and knowing how to discern who is who um, that is the kind of leadership we need and we also need to be innocent innocent as doves and that's really hard to do because it seems vulnerable but it allows us to get beyond our jadedness and our harshness and and have an innocence of being childlike and in this process and we do need those kinds of leaders but we also need to watch out for people which is what it says because they will hand you over to councils we've seen councils both in the southern baptist convention with the executive committee dealing with cases of sexual abuse and mishandling that and then um, the phrase and they will beat you in their synagogues um, we don't really have as many stories of physical abuse in the church and nonprofit and um and church camp space although that is happening but sometimes you can feel emotionally beaten up or you can feel spiritually or financially and then often even sexually abused in these synagogues or, you know, house of worship. And so I encourage us to do what this verse says, where these verses say, to be wise and to be innocent and to watch out. These are the kind of leaders that we need. And as we walk through the pain of spiritual abuse, maybe individually and certainly collectively, I think there is a lot of opportunity for us to be the kind of leaders that were like Jesus, who are on the side of the oppressed, who stopped by the side of the road, as he said, with this, um, who the Samaritan stopped and took a man in and took care of his wounds and paid for his hotel bill to stay in the inn and took care of him. And so spiritually speaking, for the wounded ones among our faith communities, we need the kind of leaders who are stepping out in faith, hope, and love. And uh, I encourage us to all step into this verse together to be wise and to be innocent and to watch out for those among us who are being oppressed because we see throughout scripture that God is on the side of the oppressed and that's the side that we as leaders want to be on.